Hey there, fellow Counter-Strike 2 players. Welcome to Sports Trigger YouTube channel. It's been almost six months since Counter-Strike 2 was released, but for some, it wasn't only good news and cool visual updates. For tens of thousands of players, the game constantly freezes and, and doesn't respond in various situations. Since this video is the current update on the situation, I recommend you check the previous video on my channel since I won't repeat the steps you must take to tackle this problem. In this video, we'll try to resolve this issue and explain the best quick fix if you continue experiencing it. Because our previous video confirmed the suspicion that many players experience this issue, we contacted the Steam support team. Two days later, responses came back and a support representative explained how they automatically collect crash data to fix the issue. Now here's the thing. When Counter-Strike 2 freezes and you close it with any method, I'll show you the fastest one in a bit. It doesn't count as a crash. This means they can't get information on the problem, instantly making me believe they don't give too many figs about it. Other common problem many of you report is being disadvantaged. One user commented on our previous video, you are playing Premier and clutching the round and suddenly you get a freeze and you have to restart the game. E, the real problems begin when you can't even reconnect to the match and as a result, you get a competitive cooldown. As for this, the Steam support representative said, we cannot modify any cooldowns you have received regardless of the reason the cooldown was issued. As already mentioned, the steps you should follow are included in the previous video, and if you still haven't done it, pause this one, open the other video on our channel, complete the steps from there, and come back here. If you have already done everything we've previously suggested, but the issue doesn't disappear, the only quick fix we can help you out with is about quickly fixing the situation and going back to the match. When you see that the counter striked, um, to froze or isn't responding, uh, make sure you perform these steps immediately so you have a better chance of getting back to the match before the next round starts, or at least before you get a matchmaking ban. Step one, click the Windows key on your keyboard. Step two, click on the Steam icon in the taskbar. Step three, hit the blue stop button for Counter-Strike two. Step four, confirm the previous step. Step five, click the play button to relaunch the game. Step six, reconnect to the match and enjoy. If done timely, you can be back in the game within 15 to 20 seconds, leaving you enough time to join before your teammates get angry or Steam decides it's your fault and gives you some level of cooldown. Um, as mentioned, this is a quick fix and only works when the issue has already happened. Check out our other video for more concrete steps to prevent it. Clearly, this situation isn't pleasant for anybody. Players just want a smooth and enjoyable experience. Steam and Valve want people engaged so it's clear that this situation isn't working for anybody however we have a problem with the attitude towards it regarding steam and valve reactions they released counter-strike 2 as a mandatory update on the 27th of september 2023 almost half a year later they are still rolling out updates daily trying to patch various problems the counter-strike community was created almost a quarter of a decade ago around the game which changed things Indeed, expectations and trends have changed over the years, but nobody even imagined that Valve would start publishing unfinished games and make it a mandatory upgrade from the previous version. The technical issue we're discussing here today is one of many, and it's a pity that in the race for profit, the players are the ones who suffer the most. Um, what do you think? Does this annoying issue influence you? Could you potentially stop playing the latest game from one of the most iconic series? Let us know in the comments below. Unlike Steam and Valve, we'll happily hear you out and try to assist you in any possible way. Subscribe to our channel to get any future updates. Greetings from Esports Trigger Team.